Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on place value part 1. The decimal system. The system of counting we use is called the decimal system. Let us see what it means. Firstly, let's look at single digits. These are the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We've used them many, many times in the past and we know exactly what they mean. We know what they stand for at present. All of the above digits tell us the number of units we are considering. Let's look at some examples. If I said to you, how many apples do we have here? You would have no problems in saying three. One, two, three. So three equals three times one. So what does that one mean? Well, each of these apples is one unit, okay? And there are three of them. So it's three times one, and that's how we get three. The little kittens, there are five of them. Each little kitten is a unit, so five times one gives us five. The marbles, there are seven of them. Each of the marbles is a single unit. Seven times one gives us seven. We move on to double digits. These numbers are made up of any combination of two single digits. So naturally, numbers like this are larger than these ones. And they're called double digits because they have two single digits in each number. Now comes the interesting part. And you might say, what does he mean by that? Well, we're going to look at double digits and try and increase our understanding of what they actually mean. Double digits explained. We all understand what it means to have 15 pens, for example. But what does 15 actually mean with respect to our decimal system? Now here are 15 pens, and that's very easy to understand. You can just count them, and you'll see that there are 15 of them. Now I've done a little trick here. I've divided the number of pens up into a group of 10. See there, 10, and another group of five. Now what did I do that for? Let us explore this a little further to get a very good understanding. Now here, remember, we have 15 pens. All two digit numbers have a units column and a tens column. So when we write the number 15, 1, 5. We, we normally write it this way, don't we? That's what we normally write it. But this is what it means. The 5 on the right-hand side represents units or 1s. The next digit next to the 5, which is the 1 in this case, that tells you how many 10s there are. So in other words, the 5 is 5 units or 5 1s, and the the one here in the tens column is one ten. Five ones are five. One times ten is ten. So all together, look what we've got. Ten plus five gives you fifteen. And that's how we get fifteen from the digits one and five. That's how we break it up. That is the meaning of the one and the five. And it's very important to understand that. What is the meaning of twenty-three? Okay, this 3 is in the units column, so it means 3 ones, and it has a value of 3. This 2 in 23 is in the tens column. The meaning is 2 tens, so the value is 20. So 20 plus 3 is 23, and that's the number we started with. Triple digits. These numbers are made up of any combination of three digits. Here are four examples. Very straightforward. They're triple digits because they have three single digits. Consider the number 465. Now the 5 is in the units column, which means it's five ones, which means the value is 5. The 6 is in the tens column, which means it's six tens and the value is 60. And the 4 is in the hundreds column, which means it's four times 100 and the value is 400. So that's 465. You just add those three up, and you get 465, and that's the number we started with. Consider the number 839. The 9 is 9 units, which is 9. The 3 is 3 tens, which is 30. 
and the 8 is 800, which is 800. 80 plus 30 plus 9 is 839. The number 750, now you can have a zero here if you like. That's no problems. But what does it actually mean? It means there are no units. That's all it means. The 5 is in the tens column, so it's 5 tens, which is 50. And the 7 is in the hundreds column, which is 7 times 100, which is 70. 70 plus 50 plus 0 is 750, and that's the number we started with. So hopefully that increases your understanding a little bit about these digits when they're written like that. And we'll explore this a little further later on.